Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. It's time for Way Back Wednesday. We're not going to really waste too much time today. You already saw what we're going to be checking out today. If uh, you tuned in on Sunday, we're going to be opening up this box of 1996 Signature Rookies Premier Wax Box, still sealed. Uh, picked it up at the local indoor flea market. Forgot my utility knife in the other room, by the way, and uh, didn't feel like getting up, so we'll put a little cut in there a little early. But I uh, picked it up at the local indoor flea market for uh, 15 bucks. Uh, I already kind of explained that I might have paid too much for it, but uh, you'll have to check out Sunday's video. You can see why I did. But um, so this is 96 Signature Rookies Basketball Premier. You can see 24 packs per box, 8 cards per pack one chase card per pack and then one you make the call point redemption card and uh, I'll explain those in a minute here uh, of course this is the year that uh, Jerry Stackhouse, Damon Stoudemire uh, Joe Smith was the number one pick um, actually let's take a look at the back here let's see uh, let's see I'm gonna pick up the camera here so we can uh, get a little better look at that there we go so you had uh, Joe Smith, Antonio McDowell, Jerry Stackhouse, Rasheed Wallace, Kevin Garnett is going to be your most valuable card uh, from the base set. Uh, those are definitely the biggest names. Let's see, uh, we got Michael Finley, number 36. And then here is a checklist of some of the other cards. Top 10 picks. And then here's your inserts, number 1 picks. Which includes uh, baseball and football and I don't know who Ryan Berard is. I'm assuming that might be hockey which is a little unusual for a basketball set to say the least. Primetime Powers here, and then Red Hot Rookies, which also includes uh, football with Curtis Martin there, Joey Galloway, Terrell Davis, Sean Salam, and Kerry Collins. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And uh, here we go. So with the You Make the Call, Here's uh, how that works. You make the call autograph redemption point card in every pack. And what you would do is you would uh, add these up and accrue a bunch of these to uh, send in and kind of select uh, one autograph, I guess, of your choice. I'm not really sure how, how good that would have worked out back in the day, but uh, obviously our points will mean nothing now. Uh, and since this is a small set, if we start to see uh, a lot of repeats, we will uh, probably just save some packs for another time. And here we go. Of course, you can see on the front there, Alonzo Morning, Glenn Robinson. Uh, so, definitely have uh, some older, uh, not rookies, I guess. Um, Okay, and I am thinking that this box, this box looks very unusual. Why is the stack lower? I think we're going to have to count these. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. 24 packs per box. All right, let's see what we got here. I mean, it had plastic on it, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, maybe they just got scattered around. That's probably what happened. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. Yep, okay, so they just got scattered. That was weird. I thought for a minute that somehow we uh, got duped there. Because the side of the box here completely fell apart and it is not impossible for people to um, reseal old wax boxes I mean I don't know why anybody would want to search through this anyways it's not exactly uh, the best set all right first pack up Let's see, alright, so, looks like this is uh, what you would send in with your uh, 
you make the call, which is right here. And immediately our first card is an insert. That's Red Hot Rookies, Jerry Stackhouse. And there's Kurt Thomas. He was the number 10 pick that year, I believe. Randy Rutherford, Michael Hawkins, Sherell Ford, and Terrence Wrencher. So, obviously the Stackhouse is the best one out of there so far. Should be pretty easy, you would think, to put together the complete uh, base set with just one box. So there's a number one pick, Kajana Carter. Insert. Pretty sure that it said there was an insert in every pack also. So there's a three-pointer card there. And for base we got Donnie Boyce, Clint McDaniel, Glenn Wisby, James Forrest, and Lizelle Durden. These cards are, uh, by the way, there's like no sticking whatsoever. So if we're sitting, sitting in this wax box for 23 years, that's pretty good. Most mid-90s cards uh, tend to brick up when they've been sitting in packs for that many years, which we've seen on the channel before. Nearly dropped that. All right, here we go. More of those. There's the Red Hot Rookies, Joey Galloway. There's the Kevin Garnett. So there's a good one there. The best one out of the base set. Number five, high school All-American. For his outstanding play in 94-95. Kevin Garnett is no doubt a Hall of Famer. No doubt about it. There's Kurt Thomas again, Randy Rutherford again, Michael Hawkins again, and Sherell Four again. So, other than the Garnett and the Galloway, that was a complete repeat pack. Things like that will make it difficult to put the whole set together. Get rid of those. And then we've got a die cut card insert here. This is Primetime Powers, Jerry Stackhouse. Pretty cool design. Stackhouse, North Kakalaki, UNC. The Sports Illustrated National Collegiate Player of the Year in 1995. Cool one there. And there's Theo Ratliff, Corliss Williamson, Constantine Popa. We have teammates. Jason Caffey and Antonio McDice. Antonio McDice was the number two pick that year by the Clippers and was traded to the Denver Nuggets. And of course that's part of the base set. And then we have top ten picks. Damon Stoudemire. Also part of the base set. The first draft pick in Toronto Raptors franchise history. Damon Stoudemire. I think the Garnett's probably the best card we've gotten so far. There's another Joey Galloway. James Forrest. Zell Durden again. There's Jason Caffey. Ray Jackson, member of the Fab Five. And there's the Jerry Stackhouse. Love those Carolina Blues. They're so cool. Stackhouse, of course, would be going to the 76ers. Also trying to separate these as I go, putting the uh, repeats in one pile, uh, at least for the base set anyway. And, uh, maybe we can uh, show off a complete base set by the time we're done here. And there's another Hot Rookies, Rashawn Salam. so we're hitting all the football Red Hot Rookies, Scott Highmark, Corey Beck, there's Rashid Wallace, Ed O'Bannon, of course a lot of people know Ed O'Bannon now, and Michael McDonald, Ed O'Bannon now for uh, the lawsuit that he was part of against the NCAA. Hmm. 
didn't really accomplish much with it, unfortunately. More redemptions. There's the Joe Smith. He was the number one overall pick to the Golden State Warriors. There's Eric Snow. He had a solid career. Started off with the Seattle Sonics. Scotty Thurman. Tom Kleinschmidt. Lawrence Moten. And Fred Hoiberg. So not too many repeats so far, I guess. We had that one pack that was pretty much all repeats outside of the Garnett. But other than that, there's only been two more. So that's pretty good So for things so far. Although I just said something, so maybe I jinxed it. There's another Primetime Powers. That's Joe Smith. Marilyn Terrapins. He had a good career. Probably not a number one overall pick career, but a good career. Another guy that had a good career, Michael Finley there. And Gary Trent. Of course, his son is playing now. Brian Collins. Mario Bennett. And Matt Maloney. I think Mario Bennett went to Phoenix, if memory serves me correctly. Or I could be completely making that up because he went to Arizona State. <laughs> I'm not really sure. And there's another primetime powers, Alonzo Morning. This is uh, four years after he was drafted. And then we got Larry Sykes, Anthony Pelly. There's the Joe Smith base, Bryant Reeves, Big Country, the first ever draft pick by the Vancouver Grizzlies took his team to the final four that year and then top 10 picks Sean Respert I think Sean Respert ended up in Toronto somehow stuff. Another Rashawn Salam, Red Hot Rookies. And there's Mark Davis, George C. Dick, Charlotte Hornets, Donald Williams, Lou Rowe, teammates with uh, Marcus Camby, and their coach was uh, John Calipari. And then Junior Burrow, he was a uh, Boston Celtic. So what I'll do with that one I collect Celtics, and uh, I guess although technically that's not a Celtic, he uh, was drafted by the Celtics, so I'll add that to my collection if I find another one. don't want to break up uh, a complete set if I'm able to put one together, so I'll try to keep that together if I can. And uh, speaking of Celtics... Here's one here. Primetime Powers, Eric Montross. This is uh, two years after his rookie season. And there's our checklist. Number 79, an information card on the back of that. We got Jerome Allen, Greg Ostertag. A lot of people will remember him with the Jazz. And we got two teammates cards. There's uh, Tyus Edney and Ed O'Bannon. And then Rashid Wallace and Jerry Stackhouse. So we may be getting close to having the entire base set here already. Possibly all the inserts as well. What ones have we not gotten yet? Um, I haven't seen the Curtis Martin Red Hot Rookies, I don't believe. So there's a few of those we haven't seen yet. Kevin Garnett as well. And there's the Stackhouse Red Hot Rookies. Ed O'Bannon, top 10 picks. Devin Gray. Checklist number 2. 
Matthias Edney, and Tony Maroney. I guess that's just kind of asking for it when you're a kid. He probably was in teased incessantly. Tony Baloney. Should be starting to get into a lot more repeats now. I think that's the third time we've seen that Rashad Salam. Another Fab Five member there, Jimmy King. Of course, the other three, including Ray, uh, other than Ray Jackson, who we saw earlier, Eric Williams, Celtics there, were uh, the other Fab Five members were Chris Webber, Juwan Howard, and Jalen Rose. Those three definitely had the better NBA careers than uh, Ray Jackson or Jimmy King. Another Red Hot rookie, Joe Smith. Jason Caffey, there's Ray Jackson again, Jerry Stackhouse again, Sean Respert again, James Scott, not sure if we came across that one yet or not. There's another Garnett on the back. There's Stoudemire's Red Hot Rookies. Scotty Thurman, Tom Kleinschmidt, Lawrence Moten, Fred Hoiberg, and the Garnett once again. So basically we're uh, just chasing inserts, I think, at this point. I'd have to dip into that pile over there and uh, see what we got. There's another Primetime Powers, Jawan Howard. We had not seen that one yet. Scotty Thurman and Corliss Williamson. That's new, I believe, to the pile. Ed O'Bannon again. Devin Gray again. There's another checklist and another Ty Sidney. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, base set here. You got one, two, three. Alright, so we're definitely looking for some more base, so we'll keep going. We'll just open the whole box, why not, right? I mean, I do have a small uh, selection of older, unopened packs. Glenn Robinson, we hadn't seen that one yet. Jerry Stackhouse, Joe Smith, Rashid Wallace, Donnie Marshall, that m Bryant Reeves top 10 picks, those might have been all the ones that we were looking for there that we needed. I am in need of binders as well since uh, we're on the subject of sets. Another Stoudemire there. Garnett top 10. Junior Burrow. Corey Alexander. So we're still seeing some that we didn't see before. Cherokee Parks there. Kurt Thomas. And Travis Best. Uh, if, you're on the, if you're in need of a binder for uh, any cards, the best place to get them is uh, your local Goodwill. You can find some... Uh, that are in good shape for a dollar. There's the Alexander. So I think the last two to three packs we have found all the remaining cards from the base set that we had not discovered yet. Every time I say that we come across more though, so we'll see what happens. I think we already saw all those. 
four packs left. Oh, misfire. There we go. There's another number one pick insert. That's the Darren Erstad. Longtime member of the Angels. I used to collect basketball or baseball and football, but uh, not anymore. It's kind of tough to keep up with collecting three different sports, especially with uh, prices for newer boxes are just crazy. Crazy what some people are paying for a box of cards these days. Tony McDice, Primetime Powers. More repeats there. Down to our last two packs. Hasn't seen this one yet. Jason Kidd, Primetime Powers. Also, uh, two years after his rookie year. Another checklist there, Jerome Allen. Another Grey Ghost tag, and another Ed O'Bannon and Ty Sedney teammates. So, our final pack here of 96 Signature Rookies Premier. I'll have to go through again and, uh, see if we do have the complete base set. I'm pretty sure we do. We might even have the complete base set of this Primetime Powers as well. Another Tony Maroney there, Mark Davis, George Zedek, Donald Williams, and our final card is another Lou Rowe. So we pretty much found everything out of this box of uh, 96 Signature Rookies Premier. So that's going to do it for this edition of Way Back Wednesday here on Headlocks and Hot Packs. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe as well if you have not yet. Uh, definitely appreciate all the subscribers that I can get here. And uh, we'll keep ha bringing you some more fun things on the show uh, as long as people are tuning in. So uh, that's it for this episode and we will see you in a couple of days for Figure Friday.